All right, we're back here with Veronica again. Um, we're working on starting our third set now. So we're gonna take this into whatever we're working on for that day, um, whatever things need some work. So I'm gonna, today I'm gonna choose to work on some lateral movements, um, maybe work on some spiral into a working canter pirouette, and maybe try some flying changes. We'll see what we get into as we go here. So I'm gonna gather her up in the walk. Start to bring this walk more uphill and prepare for right lead canter departure. Then lift my own chest up. Try to make that departure straight, if not closer to first position as we go. Good, canter feels pretty balanced here, pretty good. So as I make the corner here, I'm gonna canter shoulder in, and then maybe turn that into a little working half pass. Finish that by riding straight. Maybe I'll let her lengthen down the side here. Shorten before we come to the end. Bring it back, sit up tall. Okay, I'd like her to shorten a little more than that, so I'm gonna circle here. Think about getting the right hip to drop a little more. Yeah, good, and go forward. So if it doesn't happen right where you want, you can always throw in a circle. Give it a little time. And again, we're gonna canter, shoulder in. Working half pass. And go straight. Great. While I'm still on the right lead, now I'm gonna take a circle, 20 meter circle and start to spiral this in. Nose and hip come into the center of that circle the same amount. As we start to draw this into a working canter pirouette, I'm really gonna sit up, gonna look over my right shoulder, and then get out of it. I don't wanna stay there too long. I'm going to come back out to my circle and work on the positioning here a little bit. So we'll do shoulder four on the circle. Switch that to tra bear. Back to shoulder four. And let's spiral in again. Step in my right stirrup. Open my chest. Start to look over my right shoulder, squeeze the reins. And get out of it, good girl. Okay, we're gonna go across the diagonal counter canner. So in counter canter now, we're really working that left hind. Left hind is tracking between the two front feet. I'm gonna get, keep her flexed to the right as we go here. So on the long side now, I'm gonna close my outside leg, get straight, change the flexion, change the lead. Let her extend down the long side here. And start to bring it back. Now again, here I'd like her to come back a little better to me. So we're gonna circle. Drop 
the left hip. Think. Lift the front end. Canter in place. Yeah, then go forward. Good. Okay, I'm gonna turn. Come all the way into shoulder in. And let's try our working half pass this way. It's a little sticky off my right leg. I'll finish by going straight. And try again here. Turn the corner, right into shoulder in. And canter half pass. That's it. Finish straight. And lengthen again down the long side. Bring it back before the end. Yeah, she's coming back better now. That's good. I'm gonna change hands with my whip and start my spiral in to the left. It's actually cool out here this morning, but I'm warming up in a big hurry. This is work not only for the horse, but also for the rider. Had to shed a few layers. Good, as we spiral in, I'm gonna sit up, start to look over my left shoulder and get out of it. Got a little sticky there. So I'm gonna come back out here to my circle. And let's work on the positioning. Shoulder in on the circle. Two travers. Good. Come on. Lift on that snaffle. Squeeze the rein. Shoulder in. There. It's a better balance. And spiral in. Good. Sit up. Keep her going a little more forward. Look over the left shoulder and get out of there. Good. We'll finish by going across our diagonal into counter canter. Work this right hind one more time. Straighten on the long side, change the flexion, change the lead. Before I make my transition back to walk, again, I'm gonna bring this more uphill. And good, down to the walk, very good. So that's some canter intensive work there but I'm really paying attention to the way that she's tracking throughout and making sure that I get that balance set before I make another transition, whether it is within the gate or making a transition from one gate to the next. So we've got, you can see on the broke horses, we've got a lot of adjustability, a lot of room to play with things. And when it gets to this stage, it's really fun because there's a lot you can do with it. We don't have to stay in the arena. In fact, later we're gonna show you how you can take these skills out into the field or out onto an ob obstacle course for working equitation, or you could even go and work cattle with a horse like this. You know, there's so much you can do. They're so adjustable and just balanced and ready to go do whatever you need to do. So that's why we love dressage just as a training tool not only is it good for the horse gymnastically, but mentally, physically, spiritually, the whole thing, it's good. So we'll take it out into the field next.